Now I'd like to show you how to make washes of color. Okay, the paints, as I mentioned to you earlier, are very concentrated as far as colors. These can last for a really, really, really long time. So you would be melting some of the color into a small tin, as we've done here already. Now, since I, we're going to test this out, we're going to add a little bit along the edges of this piece, right? We're going to fuse that. It's kind of, kind of strong. The color is fairly strong. I love this shade of blue. Mm -hmm. We'll call this uh, Rhapsody in Blue or something like that. So now I'd like a wash of this blue also. So what I'm going to do is right on my palette, which is fairly clean, going to put some medium right here and then take far less. This unfortunately is um, yeah, I really, it really should be, but that's okay. We'll, we'll be fine. I've, I've really thinned out the color on right on my palette, but I'll test it out first because if you're doing a piece and you really don't want the work to, um, this is my test board. Maybe I'd like it to be a little bit lighter than that. So. If you're working on a piece that you're loving and you really don't want to make too many mistakes on it, keep a test board nearby. So I'm putting a little bit more beeswax onto the surface and thinning it out a little bit more. I think this is going to be a color that I like. So you don't add any white to it? Nope, nope, no. Nope. Not if you want washes. We're going for glazes right now want it even a little bit thinner. I really want to make sure that I have a real differential as far as when I put the, see what happens? See, so now we've added a second layer and we've got a much thinner, thinner glaze of color. Pretty much like watercolor. Yeah, we'll just fuse that up a little bit. Thanks. Now, if you wanted okay. to... Um